Hey there, and welcome to Extra Light. I am Sunny, the Life Coach, and this is where I share a little something extra that may not have been included on my weekly podcast, What Lights You Up? All right, Extra Light. This week, we are talking about episode 110, or we are expanding, if you will, on episode 110, which was I just want somebody to love me. Oh, I realized this came to me. I realized how many times I had said that when I was younger. And we say this about not only our potential partners, our boyfriends, our husbands, our girlfriends, whatever. We also say this about our parents. We say, oh my gosh, I just, I just want my parents to love me or my siblings to love me. I just want somebody to love me. I'm not going to recap that episode. It's right here for you or it's on your favorite platform. If you want to take me for a walk or a drive and you can hear that entire episode. What I want to expand on for you here today is thinking about the, oh, the empathic heart. When we talk about where emotions come from and when emotions are energy in motion within ourselves. So I want to talk to those of us, myself included, who are empathic and therefore kind of tend to take on the emotions of other people. We tend to, mm, what I said in that episode spoiler alert, what I said in that episode is that we cannot like pick up our emotion and give it to another person, right? So you might have thought in hearing that, well, wait a minute. No, I definitely pick up on the emotions of others around me. I can tell if he loves me or he hates me, he, she, them, they, whatever, right? Okay, so let's talk about that. What about when you feel another person's energy? What do you do with that? And by the way, this works for all emotions. What I'm talking about works for all emotions. I talk about love in this particular episode, in the this week's podcast episode, but it works for all emotions. Like you can tell a lot. Many of us can tell. A lot of us can tell when someone is angry or frustrated or that kind of thing, because whatever energy they are giving off is kind of, it feels like it feels like it is being transferred to you. And I just want to give you a little bit of guidance here. It's going to be super high level because this is something that I have personally been working on for a while now. And the more that I hone it, the more that I am going to be able to share with you as we continue this path together, this life, this life, we're living life. That's what we're doing. Um, what for me, I think one question, like one question to ask if you are an empath is, is this my energy? Is it mine? I'll give you a very quick example. I was, uh, a couple of months ago, I was driving and uh, I, was, I was sitting at a red light and I was in the right lane um, of, of several lanes. Of course, I was in the right lane and there's a turn lane right next to me. However, my vehicle was blocking that turn lane for the man behind me. And he was flipping furious. He was so furious. He was laying on his horn and he was screaming and yelling. I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw all these hand gestures and everything happening. And I did in that moment, I was just like, huh, oh, this is interesting. This guy's having a fit. There was nowhere for me to go. There was... I, I could maybe pull forward like three more inches that still wouldn't give him clearance to get into the turn lane until the light turned green, 
and I could really move forward. I mean, it's not like I was sit like I was the first one in line. I was not. I was like there were a couple of other cars in front of me. So this guy is just freaking out for whatever reason. Whatever reason. Not not my reason. It's his reason, right? And in that moment, I just I really did. I observed it as, huh, that's interesting. He's having a moment. He's having himself a moment. It's not my moment. It's his. So I just sat there and I breathed and I was calm and I didn't let it bother me one bit. Not one bit. Because that is what I did. I asked myself that question. Is this my energy? Immediately it is not. It was not my energy. I'm like, cool as a cucumber. I'm in a great place today. So this is this is what I'm going with. And you can be in a great place today. You can be in a great place whenever. But somebody else brings their energy into your space. The best thing that you can do is kind of just create this little force field around you and say, this is not mine. This is not mine. This is not me. I don't need to take this on at the moment. Now, this, yes, this can also work with those that you love, those that you live with, those that you have a lot of contact with. It seems like a very simple example to talk about the, you know, stranger in the car behind me. And I'm like, I'm not going to let that bother me. Of course, of course. However, the best thing that you can do is to pause in the moment, take a pause in the moment and remove yourself if you can, if you're in a place where you can actually remove yourself, if you're not like stuck in traffic and you can maybe walk to another room or that kind of thing. If you're actually talking with um, someone that you do love, someone that you love dearly is not feeling, is, is not matching your vibe at the moment, that's the best thing ever. I mean, it's such good practice. That's it. That's it. It's like, oh, thank you. That's what you can do too. That's another option. Thank you. Thank you for giving me another opportunity to practice my ability to understand what emotions are actually mine. What are actually mine? What is a part of me versus what is a part of you. You do not have to take that energy on yourself. I hope this helps you today. Please check out my podcast if you are not already subscribed to What Lights You Up on the major podcast platforms. And you can also email me at sunnydelifecoach at gmail.com. And I look forward to having a conversation with you. The reason that I'm putting this stuff out there is because I want to talk to you about these things. I hope this resonates. Enjoy.